Hey folks, Rich here with a brand new plane to show you coming from FMS Models. Uh, showing up here at Force RC very soon. This is their all new 2000 millimeter de Havilland Beaver. You can just see how massive of an airplane this is. Uh, just a great flying airplane, real easy airplane to assemble. And I tell you what, it's in the mid $300 price range. Uh, for everything but the receiver and battery and you just can't go wrong with this thing. We've been having a lot of fun flying this. Be sure to check out the flight demo videos because this plane you can fly it fantastic with the four, four and a half inch wheels off of a grass field almost anywhere. Uh, and also uh, there's an optional float set you can get with this. You can fly it off of floats and it's just a fantastic flying airplane. Um, overall guys you can fly this thing very scale like and you'll see that in the flying videos where you can fly the thing nice and slow, fly it in a normal scale fashion but being powered by six cells, it has a tremendous amount of power. So uh, you'll see that in the videos where it just has so much power that you can just scoot this thing around. It's hard not to use the throttle, but it's just a fun to fly airplane. Now, quick overview guys, it is an EPO airplane. Up front powering this thing is a uh, 550 kV brushless outrunner. Up front is this giant 15.9 prop, which is what gives it all of its speed and its power. 70 amp ESC to drive this thing and uh, Mounted all throughout the airplane are uh, digital metal gear 17 gram servos. There's six of them all around for the ailerons, the flaps, elevator, and rudder. And the optional float set actually comes with a rudder, a water rudder already on it. That's already wired and really ready to plug into this thing. Um, this thing builds together really, really nice. It's almost a glueless airplane. Most of the big parts glue on, uh, or most of the big parts screw together. And then you have a few items that you detail that you just glue on. Now, starting with the main wing, there's a big spar that runs through the center. You plug your wings in. There's four screws that go in. And when the wings plug in, they plug in nicely with bullet connectors that are pre-mounted. So you don't have any wires to mess with. Goes together fast. Your wing struts go on with one screw here, one screw here. Those are non-structural. So you don't have to worry too much about those, but two screws get those on. Uh, elevator pretty much is the same way, guys. You have, a, uh, you have a spar that connects the two halves together. They slide in. There's an elevator spar to join those together. Four screws get that on. Horizontal stabilizing rudder go on with two screws. And uh, your landing gear goes on with five screws. Ran landing gear is pre-assembled, and it's actually on the bottom of the box already. And it just bolts on, and your big pieces are done. The only glue-on items that you're going to put on this airplane are your Vortilons or your Vortex generators. Those uh, help uh, generate airflow over the, uh, ele uh, over the ailerons for better control. Your pitot tube. Uh, and then uh, these two little antennas up front, these are kind of nice. They designed these to snap on and off. So um, you could transport the plane easily. I end up transporting the airplane together upside down. And it's nice that these uh, kind of come off. They snap on and off. The last glue-on part are these, uh, these two uh, sort of stall fences or vortex generators on your elevator. And uh, those glue on, again, all this with contact cement. Uh, also included with the airplane guys are, uh, are a bunch of lights. There's, uh, let me see if I can show Steve that wingtip light. Not sure if you can see that. There's a wingtip light on each wingtip. There's also landing lights, uh, one right here and one right there. And then there's a blinking tail light. I'm gonna try and move this around so Steve can kind of see that, but there's a really nice Kind of blinking tail light back there. It looks nice in the dusk, and it uh, it uh, kind of complements the uh, the model uh, overall. Now, powering this thing, guys, and here's where all of its power comes from, is the uh, six cell pack in this thing. There's a latch mechanism that takes your uh, your hatch off real easily, guys. And then you can see inside all the ample space in here. I'll try and maneuver this. As you can see it's a big airplane. Uh, the six cell E Flight uh, 4000 milliamp 30C pack is in there. Everything's on an EC5 connector and soldered on there, ready to go. Way back in there, if Steve can see it, I just, I just went ahead and put my receiver there. Only need a, a six channel receiver, six channel radio to fly this thing, guys. So, uh, really nice as far as uh, that goes. And you can see your canopy uh, just kind of bolts right on. It just kind of has a tongue and groove in the front, and then it just snaps in place. So. All right, rolling around to the underside, guys. This thing is big. And let me start at the tail and work down here. Steve's going to kind of film this. Uh, a whole, really nice uh, uh, linkages all throughout this thing. You can see really nice big ball links all the way around. Uh, lots of scale ribs, and, and you see the spars and these spars that they put buried in there to kind of make the, uh, the tip strong. And as we come along the bottom here, cooling holes. Lots of air comes in the front of this thing. This lets air out to cool your motor and battery and everything. And then here's your mounts. This, there's a mount here, three screws for your optional the rear mount for your floats that bolt right on. Uh, and then your landing gear simply uh, comes together, screwed on with three uh, Allen head screws, and then there's actually two on each side. And they're together. And you can check out these wheels, guys. 
nice big four and a half inch wheel. So it's really great for landing on grass. Um, and then the underside of the wing, Steve, you can see right here, um, everything is designed here to be very scale like, and you can see that uh, it's set up. So everything works in a slotted fashion. Servos are covered because man, this thing's, this thing is designed to fly off of water. So you can see that they have covers over them to kind of keep the servos waterproof and keep them in, uh, in great shape. So uh, keep the water out of them. Now, as I put this thing down again, you can see how big this thing is. I'm going to extend the flap so Steve can get a really good look at these things. Uh, as we roll on down, you can see that uh, there's a slot in here, guys. Same thing with your ailerons. Um, as you run your ailerons down, they produce a little extra lift with that slot, and that slotted, uh, the slot in the end of the flaps lets the air pass through there, creates a lot of lift, and that's what lets this plane uh, fly really slow. Overall, guys, this is just a fantastic airplane. I'm having tons and tons of fun flying this. Um, you just can't beat this for the size and the price and the performance that you get out of this. Uh, again, guys, check this out. It's coming to Force RC real soon. Uh, thanks for checking us out. Thanks for checking F F FMS models, guys. And as always, we'll see you next time.